Hello friends, welcome to Rajas Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to talk about PySpark methods, struct type and struct field. This is also one of the interview question. Coming to struct type and struct field, these are mainly used to define the schema of a particular data frame in Databricks development. Struct type and struct field, both are methods available within PySpark module. This is part of library pyspark.sql.types and this is playing important role in defining the structure of the data of a data frame. Why the structure is important? Before understanding that, let us understand different APIs provided by Spark. That is RDD, Resilient Distributed Dataset and Data Frame and Dataset. Initially, Spark provided only one API that is RDD. But that is not suitable for high performance because it is not having any schema. It's not having proper structure. As a result, it is performing poor. So that is the reason the next API data frame came into picture. Data frame, it's a schema based structure. So we can, uh, we must define a structure for the data frame. Then uh, based on that schema, the, uh, performance optimization can be applied. So there is one engine called Catalyst Optimizer within Spark engine that is responsible to optimize the, so that is not available with RDD. That is the reason data frame is very important in Databricks development. And uh, due to these reasons, even RDD is kind of outdated and it is not used in most of the projects. Even though that is the native API for Spark, even though that is being used internally by Spark engine, but for the developer, uh, from developer perspective, it is uh, data frame or data set. And uh, mainly coming to data engineering background, it is data frame. In most of the projects today, data frame is used as a Spark API. And uh, for a data frame, you know, it is a structured data. It is similar to one relational uh, table, relational database table. So <clears throat> we should define the structure of the data frame. It means, you know, how many columns we are, we are having, what is a column name, what is the data type of that column, you know, it can accept null value or not. You know, these are the attributes of a particular data structure. So basically we have to define data structure for a data frame. For that purpose, we are using these methods, struct type and struct field. And in today's video, I'm going to talk more about these methods. As I told, you know, we need to define the structure of a data frame. For that, we have to use the struct type. Struct type is nothing but, you know, it is defining one particular data set. So that a data set can be one complete record, one row in a data frame or one nested column. Okay, there is one field within that we are having nested uh, fields. So it can be like that. So struct type is nothing but it is defining one particular data structure. So let us assume we are having data frame which is having three columns, employee ID, employee name and employee department. Then you know this is uh, one record in that particular data frame. How many number of records we are going to keep within the data frame? Irrespective of that, you know, all the records should follow this schema, this structure. It should contain only uh, employee ID, employee name, and uh, employee department. So this is how you know we are defining this particular data frame that is going to have three columns and these are the column names and these are the data types of uh, these columns that we need to define. In order to define that particular structure, we have to, uh, you know, we have to use a struct type. So basically struct type is defining the structure of a data frame and uh, struct type that is a collection of a struct field. Coming to struct field, struct field is nothing but, you know, within that uh, data structure, how to define one particular column in the in the complete structure i mentioned three columns employee id employee name and employee department and that particular struct type is having three columns but how we are going to define that individual fields let's say employee id that is one column how we are going to define that is uh, done through a struct field so stru struct field is nothing but defining one particular field in the row in the data set Struct type is nothing but defining the complete structure of the of the data that is a struct type. So struct type is nothing but collection of fields. Fields is nothing but struct field. So uh, this is the difference between struct type and a struct field. I hope you understood. Coming to struct field, it will accept three parameters. Now we need to define three parameters in order to create a struct field. The first one is we have to tell the name of that field. In the same example, I'm having three columns in a data frame. So the first column name is employee ID. That is a column name. So whenever we are creating, uh, we are defining new column, we have to give some name for that column. Then the second parameter is data type. 
we have to tell you know what kind of data it that particular column is going to hold for example employee id mostly it would be integer or employee name that is a uh, string type so uh, spark is supporting uh, you know different uh, types of data uh, it, it can be string data type or integer decimal float uh, map type or array type you know, there are various uh, different data types so we have to define what kind of data we are going to hold in that particular column that is the second parameter coming to the third one that particular column can accept null value or it uh, accepts you know that should be that should be a value it cannot accept null so that we have to define in the third parameter so in order to define a particular uh, field you know we have to uh, define based on these three parameters and in the same way we have to define all the fields and once we have defined all the fields that collection of fields is uh, defining the data structure using struct type i hope you understood there is no confusion let me explain through one of the data structure as well let's say in your uh, project you are having one data frame that is having id name and department and one of the record that is triple uh, one james it basically you know this is the structure of this uh, data frame so this is defining you know what how many columns this particular data frame contains you know what is the name of that column what is the data type it can accept so basically one particular record you know we are defining uh, in this way so this is done using struct type and in order to create in order to define this entire uh, data structure you now we have to define individual elements individual columns like id name and department that can be done using struct field so defining one particular field in the data frame that is called a struct field defining the complete entire row that is called struct type and coming to another example it's not, struct type is not only for the complete uh, row as i told earlier even we can define nested columns let's say you now this is our data frame this is having full name internally it is having three more columns this is nested columns like first name james and the middle name will and last name smith so this is actually one field full name within that there are again you know there are three internal fields nested fields so even we can use a struct type to define this entire structure and also within this one particular uh, column in order to define the nested fields we can use a struct type so in order to define this particular uh, structure what we have to do is we have to use outer layer we will use one uh, struct field that will define this entire value then next you know we have to define individual columns using struct field for example id one struct field and even for full name another struct field but within this uh, struct field of this full name again we have to use a struct type to define this uh, this uh, structure because this is internally having three more nested columns in order to define we have to use one more struct type you know this full name that is equivalent of first name middle name and full uh, last name it's not a full name it's a last name this is how we can define the structure of the data frame and uh, even if you are having nested fields then uh, we can go with you know nested struct type in this concept we can define uh, the schema using struct field and struct type as i told defining schema in a databricks project is very important and in this particular video i am focusing more on struct type and uh, struct field i am not going to focus more on uh, defining the data uh, defining the schema even though i am going to define the schema in my demo but i am not going to focus more on that part this part this video is mainly focusing towards struct type and struct field why because in order to define schema there are various methods actually it's not only one method we can define the schema using different approaches in order to cover all the approaches it will take time so i will post separate video for defining you know the various methods of a defining schema so in this video i hope you understood the difference between struct type and struct field and what is the importance of that right let's get started with demo i have logged into my databricks environment and uh, my cluster is up and running so in the first step what i am doing is i am creating some sample data frame that is having employee name and employee id and employee department let's say this is one record this is one particular record so in order to create a data frame on top of this data first of all i need to define the structure of this one and the rest of the records you know all the records in this data frame should follow that particular structure so here there are three columns name then uh, employee id then employee department so this is the structure of this data so i need to define that schema for that i have to use uh, PySpark uh, methods, struct type, and uh, struct field. So for that, as I told earlier, you know, these uh, methods are part of PySpark library. 
pyspark.sql.types so we need to import that and whatever the data types that we are going to use in this uh, definition we have to bring that as well so i am importing struct type struct field and string type and integer type right now in order to define the schema you know, we can give some variable name in this case i am giving structure schema but you can give anything then this is the core part in defining the structure of the data frame so here i am starting with the struct type so in order to define this particular record entire record i have to start with the struct type then within uh, that uh, struct type i have to define each elements each column so that is what i am doing here struct field then i am giving name this is employee name as i told earlier in the slide we need to define three parameters for struct field first we need to give the name of the field name of the field is here this is name so i am giving name and this is going to hold the data type uh, of a string and it will hold the data of a string that's the reason i'm giving string type then third one is it nullable or not i'm giving by default it will be true i'm giving true which means it can accept null values also if i'm going to put false it will not accept null value so this is for the first uh, field then the second field that is employee id then i am defining same struct field i'm starting with struct field then i'm defining id this is integer type and nullable true and the third uh, column I am defining department and that is also string type that is also nullable. So this is the way how we have to define a schema or data structure for the data frame. Now I have defined the structure. Now here is uh, my data. Now by combining this uh, data and uh, structure I can create the data frame. So let me execute that step. Execute the first step onwards. Data is defined. Uh, schema is defined. Now let me execute this step and um, at the end of the execution I am displaying print schema I am displaying the schema and also the data coming to schema as I told you know, each and every record will follow this particular structure it will contain uh, a column called name it will be uh, string type the nullable it will be true so similarly you know there is id column and department column coming to data here we can see the first column is name second column is id third column is department and it is having values so this is how we are defining a uh, structure using struct type and struct field. So struct type basically that is a collection of uh, different struct fields. And each and every struct field that is defining one particular column of the data structure. Right. Now let me get into some complex example. So that is nested column. As I told earlier, you know, this is my data. For this data, I am having, you know, internally we can see, you know, it is um, uh, closed within the bracket. Internally, I am having first name, middle name, and last name. Then above from that, I am having employee ID and also employee department. And how we can define the structure for this nested field? For, this is the uh, same as above, uh, but uh, here we are having nested field. So we need to put proper mechanism to define that structure. So coming to this one, the first field that is nested, it is containing first name, middle name, and last name. And other fields are regular fields it's not nested one so in order to define this nested you know first of all in order to define this complete structure i have to start with struct type so that is collection of you know multiple fields there are three fields okay this is the first field and this is the second field and this is the third field so the first field that i'm giving uh, a column name is name name but within this column name again you know it is divided into multiple fields so i have to once again i have to start with the struct type only for this field for name field, I have to internally start with a struct type and I need to define those three fields. So this is how we have to define nested struct type so that we can define nested columns in our data set. So other two columns, they are regular columns. There is no nested. So I'm not defining any nested struct type. Uh, this is how we can define nested column. So let me execute the data. Then let me execute the schema definition as well. Then finally, I'm creating the data frame and I will display the schema and data. Let me execute. Here we can see, you now this is the structure of one particular record. So it will contain the columns name, then ID, then department. Here we can see name, ID and department. But this name is internally uh, divided into multiple columns. That is first name, middle name and last name. So here we can see the same, the name column. This is one single column. This name, this is one single column, but internally it is divided into three columns. This is nested column. So 
in order to define this nested structure again we used a struct type in order to define this particular structure you know we uh, used a struct type once again so this is how we can define nested columns in uh, databricks development using nested struct type i hope uh, you understood the concepts of uh, struct type and struct field and also you uh, know you understood how to define the schema this is also one of the uh, interview question so hope you understood the difference and uh, you understood the usage of uh, these two different methods hope you enjoyed this video if you like the content of this video please like and comment in the channel also please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell button thank you